Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed 2. Last time, we made it out of Florence, and now, we're on to Scana. Fall in. Buongiorno Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. My oh, condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. <laughs> what will happen now that there's <laughs> no one left uh, to help you? I have such wonderful things in store for your mother and sister. I grow tired of this game. Finish him and do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! Leo, you oh, are here. spinning! <laughs> Not having this happen again. Yes, these enemies can indeed Yes, I'm just using these blades because they play on quicker. Combat is literally the fastest weapon. You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario! Uncle Mario? <clears throat> it's been too long, Yvote. <laughs> Far too long. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here. Yeah, I know a, a lot of people are quite sure they called Ezio's uncle Mario for that reference. But Mario's actually a pretty cool guy. We'll get to know more about him later. Casa Dulce Casa. So, tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. They came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterey Johnny. I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. <sighs> for now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. De Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I have never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather. A strange man who carry all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it. But I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Here we are. Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? 
Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait. He did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me convini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money, should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. By top floor, he means the... Uh... Keep one say basement. No, it's the opposite of the basement. The attic. Thankfully, Montenegro only has one viewpoint. So we get this. See all of Tuscan. However, there's a lot to do in this game. In this game. In this place. Then the game lets on. Like these. These statuettes. <coughs> no, I will not be collecting them all. If I, if I see them, I will collect them. But if I do not, I will not. No point collecting. No point trying to run around and find them all. I want to remember that door though, because that's part of one of the completion requirements. Well, the completion requirements I put myself on. I'm not allowed to beat the game unless I do certain tasks. I am still going to be keeping an eye Amici, out though. why not sup with me? Pleasure, signore. Return any time. Oh, the doctor. I'm sure I have just what you need. <coughs> Somewhere in the back, perhaps. Care for all. I already bought medicine. The bot fairy supplies. I will be here anymore. should you need me. I mean, we had the medicine pouch. Does this amuse you? Tolto. Three is acquired. We can manage our inventory. I'm just sure. I'm just giving you guys a quick tour of the place because honestly, I really like Montemajori. But we won't be taking a full tour, obviously. Okay, it's actually bringing me back here with a tingling. Apologies, I have to find that tingling because that's actually drag driving me slightly crazy knowing I can hear it. There it is. Pluto. We'll put these off before we go deal with it. Deal with everything in there. I can't even do one of the things because we need Mario to not be. Place that to it. Can't do anything here. There's two for each, and if we find both statues of each. Oh, they find both statues for one of them already. Huh. That means we get a lot of money. Yep, we're gonna get money. Open it. 
2,000. If we can find the rest, then that would be great for later. What, is, what will happen there? Well, you guys will see. Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Optimum. You can swing a sword to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. <sighs> no use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father was an assassin, Ezio. I told you before, my father was a paper pusher. No, he was born and bred. I find this difficult to believe. What is the list you carry? Do you think it's merely a catalog of debts? It holds the names of those responsible for your father's murder. Okay, just making sure all the work's done. Benny, I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I figured you have the codex <laughs> page he was holding as well. Codex? <laughs> See, a guide to the inner workings of the Order. Its origin, purpose, and techniques. Our creed, if you will. Father believed the codex contained a powerful secret. Something that would change the world. Perhaps it's why we can him. Assassins, Templars, Codex pages. This is a lot to take in. You need to open your mind. It's... Always remember, nothing is true, everything is permitted. <laughs> Your mama can't help you this time. Avanti, Miss Tayon Ayando. Come now, you. <laughs> You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Um, Don't for... think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground where they continued their nefarious work. What work? The Templars seek dominion over man, and we, the assassins, are sworn to stand against them. Was Uberto one of them? Yes. And the other names on my father's list? Templars as well. That means Vieri. Just like his father, Francesco. Likely the entire Pazzi family. Eh, it would explain many things. Now we can 
Dark escapes. The escape skill was already learned. Now defeat Mario. Bring it up. È un duello, fesso. Vogliamo aprire. Well done, Nepote. You've really come into your own. Thank you, Uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait! Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Now... ...to get... ...into things. Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stable. For leaving, let's go check on Mother. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. So might as well talk about this. This darn ball. <sighs> that 50 feathers to get a weapon from Mario. A hundred. Maria does come out of her... I don't want to call it a stupor, but out of her shock, effectively. And she gives you the Auditore cake. Good to see you, Ezio. Care for a bit of... <coughs> Just one more time, Ezio. Ah, such this skill, is actually really such grace. Because otherwise, we well, we technically do have this, but the other is that we won't have otherwise. Yes, it's best we take a break. So we best actually get used to going and collecting. <laughs> Such things. I uh, don't believe we can get. I'm sure I have just. Let's actually, check. Because I don't know if we can get. Nope, we can't. So we can get these, but they're not good. Might well, well yes, not the here, is it? I think they're not. Oh, great. goodbye for now. All who need aid are welcome here. I 
apologies, I had to quick check something. And yeah, the thing I'm thinking of, I can't get for until I've started rebuilding Montenegro. Yeah, which yes, that's something we get to do. Yeah. much about Tuscana yet, so... Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene, then listen close. First we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti? Alright Ezio, here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. And now we get I'll attack go! <coughs> Which are as powerful as they were in the first game, which sort of makes sense. But it's also slightly disappointing to get rid of this bad guy. Done, Ezio. We're in. I mean, this way, man. For a while, I'm surprised they didn't close it again. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Vieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Vieri up to now? No one knows. Noble but something has an how else to explain an our patrols? And the a signal again soldiers. when you should follow. Instead, he's turned us into nursemaids. And why? Shooting his mouth off again, no doubt. Angering the wrong sorts of people. And so now, we pay the price. Careful. But do you want to strike before him like Bernardo was? Poor bastard. I heard Gary took his eyes. I'd like to keep mine. 
So let's end these conversations. Work your magic. Yeah. Yeah. A fair price, no? I apologize, but that's one of my favorite car conversations in the series. My absolute favorite. <laughs> We won't be able to do the viewpoints here yet because there's too much. to bring a certain man your head. A fair price, no? Buy me a little time. God, you join him this day. It's all about execution. Now we can run up. Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him! Ah, Nipotus, there you are. It seems my plan is to something of a fact. Yeri's men ambushed us, and now we are not peaceful. My brothers and I will deal with these guards. I want you. Go on ahead and root up that snake. See that justice is done. That action I really uses is what we get for the battery. And yes, we tend to kill all these guards. I'm not sure to do It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now. Is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting.
What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che pro... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened... Do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. My love, I put these thoughts to paper in the hope that I might one day have the courage to share them with you. In time, you'll no doubt learn that I betrayed Giovanni, labeled him a traitor, and sentenced him to die. History will likely judge this to have been a matter of politics and greed. Know that it was not hate that forced my hand, but fear. When the Medici robbed us of all we owned, I found myself afraid. For you, for our son, for the future. What hope in this world for a man without proper means? They offered me money, land, and title in exchange for my collaboration. And so this is how I came to betray my closest friend. However unspeakable the act, it seemed necessary at the time. And even now, looking back, I see no other way. Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Pieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo. Al magnifico Lorenzo di Medici, mio protettore e amico. I have done as requested and completed my investigation into the Milano incident. I can confirm for you that it extends far beyond the satisfaction with Duca Galeazzo Sforza's rule. It is my belief that other parties desirous of far greater gains manipulated events in such a way as to achieve their goals without being revealed themselves. Lampugnani, Olgiati, and Visconti are guilty of the crime, to be sure. And they have met fitting ends for their betrayal. But several other noble families are implicated as well, our own Francesco di Pazzi among them. 
Their cause and motive is not yet clear to me, but initial findings indicate a plan, the scope of which is sure to disturb you. Best we continue this conversation in person, as I am hesitant to put my suspicion to paper. Reply with a place and time, and I will meet you there. I have also ordered Francesco be held by the Gonfaloniere until we can clear up this matter. Yours in confidence, Giovanni. Bring me your sick and wounded. Yeah, we might as well just... You know what? I'll make this a little <coughs> bit longer episode. Because we don't have much to do in Toscana. And the missions here aren't long. And here he is! Our Campione Ezio! Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead. La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. Change of plans. The Pazzi answer to another. A Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia. One of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Or a shona? Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo would decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. We already did this. The 
we have to do it again. With all that the game forces us to do this. Say one of them's outside. This will be the last one. even open them from here until we get this mission so and if we can well I wish I'd known what's come over you Karma I'm a friend to you oh here's another statuette might as well get this Diana. Come, don't be shy. I only aim to heal. Ugh. Oh. Life expectancy. Claudia and one more character. Come, Amici! I fresh sheep's urine and rosemary poultices. Keep forgetting to so say stuff like that. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un mostro. Outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Zio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Dio. And we can't really do much about this yet because we've got no money. We'll probably never speak to Claudia and just go straight to the chest. 
this is the guy I wanted to get long. One John. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir, Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Ser Ezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell mud. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Thankfully, we don't need to lift the spiel over and over again. We do want to get as much as we can. But let's start off with Taylor, an art merchant, which is the least useful of the shops. Uh, we want to try and get as much as we can buy with just one visit. So, yeah. The, ma the well is actually one of the ones that we actually want to fix up because it can pay for itself because there's actually some gold in there. Well, Florence. Keep calling it gold. Uh, we want to buy the brothel because the brothel is actually really good at getting us up there. One Biaggio! And we increased the value and buy a lot. Now we will return back there and we'll speak to Mario about the crypt. <coughs> so, we do need to talk to him about that. <coughs> but we do want to come down here because this place actually does give us not only a good little bit of a playground, however, the big thing is that it leaves us just a good money compared to pretty much any other place in this area, any other thing in this area that we renovate? <laughs> this does, this place can actually just reward you back almost immediately. <coughs> and yes, this is going to be one of the things I'm going to try and do. I'm going to actually try and unlock. Hi, man. Managed to rebuild Montenegro. <laughs> Thankfully, we can't get hard. Statuettes, that would be great. But if we can't, oh well. We'll get back to that codex wall. Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order. 
and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. And this is hinting at the assassin. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. And... The armor is... Getting access to the armor itself also gives you access to one more thing. Don't know. No, 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 not that. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the giant. If I actually want to spoil what it is. You know what? I might as well, because this game's pretty old. Uh, it gives you access to the ultimate sword of the game. You have to pay for it, but hey, they figured out that that was a stupid method later on, so uh, yeah. Anyways, next time we're heading back to Firenze, and hopefully we can do as much as we can there. Oh yeah, might as well also say, uh, note, we will be returning to Firenze after this. We'll be returning to Frenzy again later on because we cannot do everything in Frenzy. We have only we only have one more thing we can one more thing we literally cannot do. There's a few things we cannot do there, so we won't be completing it yet. I'll tell you guys when we are able to complete a region. Right now, it's only two it's only two places, so yeah. Uh, Zeno and Zima, signing out.